Because Ivory Tower is still supporting the crew too for the next year or so with new content, cars, and vanities, not to mention they're making past exclusive cars buyable, it makes sense to boot up the crew too and earn those things to transfer to your Motorfest collection, especially since those things aren't available to Motorfest only players. The only problem is you're going to need a lot of bucks in the crew too in order to compete in those summits provided you don't already have the necessary vehicles and you'll need a few bucks to purchase the newly buyable cars. So it's time to talk about the best ways to get bucks in the crew 2. This is a Motorfest player's guide to the crew 2. Let's go! Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's MilitiaGamingCo.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right. Enjoy. All right, having to return to the crew too to get cars in Motorfest is definitely frustrating for me too. So I know you don't want to spend any extra time watching a video about it. So let's make this short. There are three steps to making insane amounts of money super fast in TC2. Step one is you need to apply your icon points to Rich. Go to the profile at the top of the menu screen, then click icon points. And once you're here, you'll want to reset your comfort page and apply all of the points you have into the rich category. Obviously, depending on how high of a level you are, everyone will have different amounts of icon points and thus a different bonus. Just dump all of the points on that page into rich and move on. Step number two, you need to select your desired method for earning cash. There are three methods for grinding money that I recommend. These also work very well for grinding followers. So if you haven't reached icon status yet, or you just started the game, these are great ways to level up as well. Anyways, method one is called Bayou Break. It's a rally cross event. It's also a chase event, not necessarily a race. This is by far the fastest way to make money, but it is tedious and boring, which is why I have a couple other options for you. But without any icon points, you can earn 15,750 bucks every 35 seconds or so. If you add in the time for loading screens and restarting the race, you're looking at about 60 to 70 completions per hour if you're grinding for an hour straight, which gives you 945,000 to around 1.1 million if you're really fast at it per hour. And that's before any bonuses. To unlock this chase event, you're going to need a Rallycross Enforcer unit, and the best is the Cadillac Escalade. It will cost you around 300,000 in the store, but you'll make that back really fast, probably in the first 20 minutes of doing this. And then after that, it's all gravy. Oh, and make sure you're doing this on the easiest difficulty and by yourself to complete it in the fastest amount of time. It pays way better that way. All right, method two is called the New York Hypercar Race. I've talked about this in the previous guide, but basically this is my favorite method if you're gonna be grinding with a friend. It takes about 30 minutes to complete, but if you've got a friend, you guys can switch off running it so you don't get fatigued. Only one of you needs to win the race and then both of you will actually get the full payout, which by the way, with no bonuses, is 315,000 bucks which is 660,000 bucks per hour. You can definitely get the race time down to around 27, 28 minutes though, which makes it a little bit more lucrative than the third method, which is the Harlem West Street Race. Now this is my least favorite of the three methods because it's also sort of boring because you're doing the same event over and over again by yourself. But if you're into street races and you don't wanna to commit to a longer race like New York, then this is a really great option. Again, without bonuses, you're looking at around 22,050 every two minutes or so, which gets you around 661,500 per hour. Now, once you've selected which method you're going to go after, you can finally move on to step number three. This step is highly recommended. However, it can be completed over time because it does cost a little bit of money up front. It's sort of like an investment of money now in exchange for a shorter grinding experience and more money later on. But go to the car that you're using for your chosen method and make sure all of the parts have the affix called rich. Once all of them have rich, you can keep recalibrating each of the parts until you get the max percentage, which is 3% per part. And since you have seven parts, you'll be able to increase your bucks gained by 21%. So that means method one will be around 1.2 million per hour, methods two and three will be around 800,000 per hour, 
And again, that's not including step one of my three-step process, which is your icon points. I currently have 368 icon points in Rich, which gives me an additional 36.8% for a grand total of 57.8% extra money. That gets me all the way up to nearly 1.6 million per hour on method number one. Listen, it gets easier as time goes on, so just hang in there, keep grinding, and keep making that money. All right, in the next guide, I'm gonna be going into depth about the summits so you can set yourself up for success and not miss any exclusive rewards going forward. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing. We're making daily content for the channel. If you have any questions about this, please send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. I literally read every single message personally. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.